Greeting, human beings of the internet. My name is Joe, and thank you for clicking this video and joining me today for another episode of Sims 4. We actually have an objective this time. The last two episodes, we've kind of just bounced around and seen what we could do with some stuff in our house. We flew to space, which is pretty interesting. But last episode at the end, I think I said I had two objectives. One was like adopt a child. Um, the second one was to kill that wife's, to kill that woman's husband and make her my wife. <laughs> but I don't think it's really worth adopting a child if I haven't got a mother to kind of support the child and also I'm at work all the time. So I probably need to be married to someone. So let's steal <laughs> that person's wife. This could all be for nothing because she was rejecting my romantic approaches, but it could be because she was married. If not, then we will accidentally kill this guy for nothing. But you may think I'm just being creepy and I should just get a different girl, but I'm lazy. I can't be bothered to uh, get my friendship rank up with another person. And also, I've always wanted to kill someone in this game. So, it ticks two boxes. Two birds, one stone. So we know that they live in this massive house over here. Wait, play? I could just play as them? No way, I had no idea! No fucking way. Oh my god. First of all... Let's see the house. Wow. Oh my god, I am her. This is so weird. I had no idea this was a thing. Holy shit, let's look at this house. <gasps> look at this place. And let's see how many floors it's got. Upper floor. Wow. All right. So this is going to be much easier than I expected. So we can control Eric Lewis. I'm sorry, Eric, but it is time for you to go. So there are a few ways you can kill people in this game. The, oh, this is a really, really nice area. Wow, look at that. I think the, the easiest one is just to lock them in a room. And then they just starve. And they just die because they can't get anywhere. <gasps> oh my god, let's kill him like Harry Potter. Okay. So, <laughs> so what we're at another gallery, what we're going to do is we are going to put a door in here. Okay. <laughs> this is great. So uh, go here, man. Go here. So he's going to go in this room. And then... And then uh, we're going to put the walls up. We're going to take away the door. Ta-da! Eric is now stuck under the stairs like Harry Potter. And... Oh my god! Oh, they can see him! They can actually see him through the stairs! Oh my god, this is kind of brutal. Holy shit. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. This is... It actually looks like a prison! If you get the right angle, it looks like he's just in prison. And he's just going to die under the... That is almost... Uh, look, his wife's just like, What is my husband doing under there? You silly man. How did you even get in there? What's that say? Chat with Alice. Romance. Blow a kiss. Never again, man. Never again. She is mine. <laughs> oh my god. I am a psycho. God, this house is a little bit too big. Oh, actually, I don't know. I do like it. Maybe I can move in here. Um, alright. I guess we just speed this up, guys. Wow. We are horrible people. Surely if I can control her, I can make her romance Joe. I'm going to invite Joe over. <laughs> I'm going to invite Joe over. And the Joe can start romancing her while her husband is dying under the stairs. Wow. This is just Psychopath Simulator 2015. Oh, this is so weird, controlling someone else. Oh, Joe, you're still fat. God damn it, Joe. So can I make her do romantic stuff to Joe, even though she's married? Like, it, will the option even come up? Like, I can do romance. So if I flirt with Joe... Joe, if you decline this, I'm going to be... What the fuck? I'm going to be so angry. Don't, don't fail me, you fat bastard. Oh, don't do it in front of your child while your dad's dying. This is weird. Keep flirting. This is the way. Uh, this is really, really annoying. The camera's a pain in the ass. Fucking camera, man. Jesus, this is an... Ah! Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Mommy, why are you flirting with this stranger? I haven't seen Daddy in hours. <laughs> what, what, what is Joe doing? I'd like to do this to you. Wait, what, she wants to go chat with Eric. Nope, unfortunately, Eric is out of the picture now. So let's just queue up some chatty, flirty stuff with Joe. I am taking control of this romance. Oh, Joe is not getting on with the child. Oh, so she seems to be trying to kind of like get away from the uh, the flirting. She really is fighting this, which I can respect. Oh, she's going over. <laughs> Joe hates the child. <laughs> I 
If I become your new dad, kid, I'm probably going to take care of you since we don't really get along. Oh, romance is in the air. Kiss hands. Ah, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is cheating. Oh, oh, look, she's trying to reject it. This is very confusing. She's like trying. She's trying to not fall in love with him, but I'm like forcing her. This is like a dictatorship over her emotions. Wait, what? What the hell, Joe? Did you just decline? Is Joe declining her romance? The fuck is wrong with you, Joe? Joe! <laughs> Fucking hell, Joe! Fuck you, Joe. Get out of here. Oh my god, ask to leave. Ask to move in. Ask to leave. Get out of here, Joe. You're the worst. How's it going, Eric? You need hunger, do you? That is such a shame. Wait, what the hell? They're chatting. <laughs> They're chatting through the stairs. Like, uh, Eric, what the fuck are you doing on the staircase? I don't know. I just came in here and then the door disappeared. I can't get out. Oh, Eric, you stink and you pissed yourself. Oh, oh dear. I think he shit all over himself. Oh, Eric, you're a mess. It's taken a long time. Let's get a fireplace in here. And let's do the classic Sims technique of putting loads of chairs in here, like wooden chairs. And just seeing if it will catch on fire and maybe burn him. Where the hell is Eric? Who the hell is this guy? What the? God damn it, Eric! He, he got out! I must have intercepted him with a chair or something. He got out. Just hold for a second, Eric. You need to go back in this room. <laughs> He's like, freedom! Freedom! I'm free! Oh my god, I'm free! Thank you so much! Oh, I can't believe it! This is the best day of my life! Thank god I'm free! Oh, oh dear. What a traumatic experience that was. I hope I never go through something like that again. Oh dear, Eric. Why will you never learn? You silly man. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Come on, chair. Light a blaze. Oh my god, he's actually sitting on the chair. Oh, he fell asleep on the chair. Ah, at least I was kind enough to give him somewhere to sleep. That was nice of me. I'm a nice man. Uh, maybe making a swimming pool would have been a quicker idea. Maybe you can make a swimming pool in here. Can we make a pool here? No, don't remove the bloody staircase. Uh, do I really care that the staircase is gone? He's free to go now. Um, Let's just create another wall so we can't escape. Can he get out? Once he's in the swimming pool, can he get out? So if I say... Whoa, he, whoa, he just collapsed. The sim is too uncomfortable to get in the pool. Damn it. He's got to be comfortable to use the pool. Ah, uh, looks like we're going to wait for him to starve. Okay, what have we got now? Ravenous. Eric needs food now. He will starve to death in 23 hours. Whew. <sighs> All right, he's going to starve in 50 minutes. God, it's so weird that we have a countdown for this. It's kind of, uh, kind of ominous. Oh, dear. I am destroying this guy just so I might even have a chance at your wife. Kind of dark, but that's what happens when you give me control of everything. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, Eric. Sorry it had to be this way. Wake up so you can die. So he has to finish sleeping first, and then he wants to play chess, and then he's going to die. Okay, let's try... He's dying from starvation. He hasn't died. He's di dying. I've never seen anyone die in The Sims 4. I think the Green Reaper comes to get him. Oh dear. I hear him. Whoa, here he is. Can I do anything with him? Plead. Oh my god. Where are you going? Green Reaper, where are you going? <laughs> he can't get to him. He can't get to his body? I think he's trying to get to his- Oh no, he just went through the wall. Ah, eh, fuck it, he's a Grim Reaper, he does what he wants. He's got a tablet! He's got an iPad! <laughs> Look, he's got an iPad! Oh, that's great. What are you doing, Grim Reaper? This is taking on longer than I expected. Can we speed up this process? Oh! Wow. Eric is gone. Oh, well you can't be friendly with Eric. He's dead. Oh dear. Oh, she's very sad from losing a true love. Few things are sadder than when spouses are separated by death. She's gonna get over it in two days. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. 
Uh, we fixed the staircase. Uh, Death is just kind of chilling out. Can we go say hi to him? Can we say hello? Friendly introduction. Be friendly to the Grim Reaper, for Christ's sake. It is the Grim Reaper. What the hell is he doing? He's, he's going to watch TV. <laughs> They're just having a little chat. No, no, just be nice to him, man. He's the Grim Reaper. He's just doing his job. No fucking way I can flirt the Grim Reaper. She's flirting with him. Ha ha ha, she got to climb with the Grim Reaper. <gasps> Unlucky girl, you tried. Whoa. Well, he's gone. He did have a little flirt with the Grim Reaper. That's something interesting. Oh, Olivia's very hungry. Be sure to feed her before she gets taken away. Oh, my daughter is dying. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm going to set... Actually... I don't really like Olivia. Joe doesn't get along with Olivia. So if we are to make Alice part of our family, Olivia isn't really going to be a part of it. Wait, is, is she just going to feed herself? I don't know. She just fed herself, so I think I don't think she's going to get taken away. Okay, so Olivia fed herself, so that's okay. So uh, how do we go back to the uh, to Joe? All right, Joe, you fatty, how's it going? Oh, you are so fat, man. Can't believe how fat you are. It's good to be back, Joe. I did some bad things that I don't want to talk about. I'd rather I forgot what I uh, just did to that poor man. It was quite dramatic for me. But anyway, how's the job going? Let's see if there's anything to make Joe less fat. Because I can't... Oh, what's this? Gym rat builds fun while exercising and doesn't lose hygiene. That's pretty good. Insta... Insta lean? It's a diet beverage. Redeem. Uh, we did it. We haven't bought anything from this store yet. And then we go into inventory. Uh, uh, here. And then... Insta lean. Drink. Let's see if that makes Joe skinny. Whoa! Whoa. That's cool. Drink it, Joe. Drink it all. Yeah, he's skinny! <laughs> Best thing ever! Uh, I'm going to write a new book. It's going to be called... I Murdered a Man Under the Stairs. And how would I describe this book? Light-hearted. Oh, well, look, she's here! She came round. She's heartbroken, and I'm just about to get home. <gasps> what perfect timing. Okay. I've just come home from work. I'm really embarrassed, which is bad timing, but there you go. Also, I apparently, I smell a bit. What the hell, Joe? Why do you stink, Joe? <laughs> um, could you just like, quickly take a brisk shower? That makes you flirty as well. Qu quickly, Joe, just qu take a shower. Okay, now, the moment of truth. She's still sad, though. Try to cheer up. Let's try and cheer up first. Let's just try a cheeky flirt. It might be too soon. We might have to just give it a break for a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. Would you just turn all this stuff off, Joe? The romance still isn't working, but she is very sad, actually. Alice is very sad. She might not be ready. Joe is super embarrassed. She's super sad. This is not going well, guys. Oh, God, he's so embarrassed. She's... Oh, this is just terrible. Whoa! Awesome! Yeah! Alice is happy! Now! Make your move! Romance. Uh, ask if she's single. See what she says now. She is single! Would you look at that? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Don't let a man die for nothing. <gasps> you accepted! Yes! Holy shit! Fucking hell, finally! She doesn't like pickup lines. She hates pickup lines. Okay, it's fine. We just gotta learn what she likes. Hmm, you're a difficult woman to figure out, Alice. But I'm never giving up. Alright, guys, we're going to leave this episode here. It was a pretty psychotic, demented one. I don't know. It was probably some of the most disturbing stuff I've done in a video game. <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> but it was funny. We hadn't seen anyone die yet, so we got to see the Grim Reaper, which was interesting. And Alice and Joe, by the looks of it, might not be destined to be together but we'll still keep trying but we might just have to accept the fact that we did kill her husband for nothing but there are plenty more fish in the sea so next episode we are going to focus on romance we'll try some more of alice and then we might have to move on there you go but yeah let's try and get joe a, a girlfriend or a wife next episode but that's all for now so thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time i'm gonna kiss trip <laughs> I love you.
Bravo! <laughs> I love you guys!